Hello everyone, my name is Professor Tirup Parmar. In this particular lecture, we will continue our discussion about data warehouse practicals. As we know, we are already done with this particular four practical listener, database, configuring repository and workspace, logging into design center. And this particular part will continue our discussion with defining a target warehouse module. So let's start with defining a target warehouse module. So let's start defining or performing our practical as we know the target module to begin designing the module of our target warehouse first we have to go to oracle then go to uh, design center as you can see and then we'll find one login window now as we know to begin designing the module of our target warehouse you can start by defining a target module target module contain metadata informations then same way they also define or they also contains definition of target object we design every target module must be mapped to a target user schema therefore before you create a warehouse builder target module you need to create a target schema that will physically store your target objects on deployment then you can you make sure that the target module references this target schema by assigning an appropriate location now as you can see, we are already done how to log in into design center in a previous practical. So we already know about all this credential, but still I'm providing all these details once again. So as you can see, first we have to enter username that is BACIT user. Our password is Oracle, then host name. So we are working on local computer only. So our host name remains local host only. Port number remains 1521 and service name is TYBACITDW and click on OK. So as soon as we click on OK, it will give you one window that is our design center. Now in this particular part, first we will see how to create a target user from a global explorer so as you can see it is divided in three part project explorer connection explorer and global explorer so we'll start creating a new user from global explorer there click on security and then comes the option user right click on this particular option it gives you to create a new user so as soon as it gives an option uh, the new user which we want to define is not present here right now so click on create DB or database user as you can see create on db user now as you know that this particular part will helps us to create a new database user so dba name that is database administrator name remains system only password we keep the password common that is oracle remember keep the password same for every other practicals do not create multiple passwords that will uh, that will create confusion in future practicals only because we are working on this for the first time so as you can see dba username is system dba password is oracle then name of our user so we are creating a user for our expense flat file so we'll give a name that is expense underscore wh that is warehouse password again same oracle only confirm password oracle then we need to click on OK. So as soon as we click on OK, one user will automatically get selected and then click on OK. So as you can see, it creates or it is registering a new user. And as soon as it finishes registering, we can list out the same user under users and under that, under that we have expense user. Remember, we have two users now. One is BACIT user and second is expense user. Now go to our project. Then in project, we have to go to, <clears throat> as you can see, Oracle under database, right click on it and click on new. So as soon as we click on new, it gives us this particular type of a wizard. So under this particular wizard, as you can see, we can basically create a module or a storage object that helps you organize metadata within a project, create one or more module to for each type of metadata such as database file application process flows and schedule so we already know based on our previous practical that we have created metadata for two table that is one is expo, uh, expense table and second is export table so here also we'll create this particular type of module for two things one is for expense and second is for exports so as you can see we'll give a name for for, uh, for the first so we are creating 
this particular module for our expense metadata so expense wh then all the details other remains the same if you want you can write a description as well for the same or else just click on next as soon as we click on next it shows us this type of a window then click on edit so as soon as we click on edit it gives us information where we have to add more other username that means who basically authorized for this particular type of module so we'll provide a username for the same so we can add any username but we are creating it for expense metadata so we'll keep the username same that is expense wh password remains same oracle host name as we know we are working on local host so it remains the same service name we already know this our service name is in my case it is tybacit dw after entering all this information click on test connection if all the details are correct then it shows success if success is not shown that means there must be some error so if success is shown click on ok once we click on ok then click on next and it gives us some <clears throat> or we can directly finish it just a second click on finish so as soon as we click on finish as you can see a detail appears under expense we have mapping as well we have to look at at three locations first is expense here then in connection explorer as you can see under database we have one new tab created under oracle for the same as me that as you can see a location then under global explorer as you can see under users we have expense user so expense user its location and its database i hope this particular part is clear now the same way we'll create a, another user uh, sorry now we'll start with external tables so click on right click on external table click on new as you can see it gives us this particular type of a wizard click on next here we will import external table give the name so we are creating this external table for expense so what we need to do is we know in a previous practical we have created a flat file module in which we have imported sample to flat file to move and transform data from flat, fi uh, flat files into a uh, relational or dimensional target you can use it either a flat file operator or an external table so here we are going to use external table external table enables you to represent data from a source file in a relational table format external table also allows you to directly query flat files from oracle database and also query joins transform and constraints flat files so do it right now here we are going to create is as you can see the name is expense and categories click on next you can give other name as well and then select which file for which file basically we are creating this particular part so we are creating for expense category dot csv underscore csv and then from here we just need to click on source location one that's it and next as you can see at the end it gives a summary and finish so here we are done with first external table creation for our first flat file that is expense now the same way we'll repeat the same steps for second file as well as we know we have we, we are working on two flat file one is expense second is export so again right click on external table new gives the same wizard click on next here also now we have to add a name for our second flat files so second flat uh, 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 for the second uh, file will add a name you can add any name whatever you want so i have adding expense data and then choose export file click on next as soon as we click on next it, it will gives us an option and then use same source location one next final summary and finish it so i hope here we are done with creating external table for our two flat files
and this particular part we use and now we'll configure this particular tables external table so right click on those table names and click on configure as soon as we click on configure it gives us an information to create a data file right click on data file and click on create as soon as we click on it it gives us this type of information as you can see then on selected part just click there we'll get a browse button or edit button click on it and add a value for the same so it will create data file with the same name so as you can see i'm giving a name so we have two ex uh, two flat files one is expense second is export so i'm giving a first value that is expense category dot csv and click on ok as soon as we click on ok the same will be added here and then click on finish uh, sorry click on ok so it finishes our first particular part the same way now we'll create or configure second external table that is expense data right click go to configure then data file again right click create it gives us an uh, option to give a name or a value add a value to it so we are going to add a value as we know we are creating this particular part for expense or export so we'll give export underscore uh, sorry export dot csv and click on ok and here we are done so as you can see we are done with this particular part here we have created external table under which we have create uh, added two tables and then and then we have created external table as well i hope this particular practical is clear to you I'll very very soon I will upload next practical as well. Thank you.